Hey friend, today we're going to work on rebuilding my pedal test box. I think uh, if you're going to do this for a hobby and you're going to do more than one or two pedals, it's just a good idea to have. Um, the reason I made it was because I used to just hook everything up with alligator clips, try to plug my guitar into it, and then if I would move a little bit, it would pull the whole circuit onto the ground over and over again and it just got so annoying that I came up with this and we're going to add a few features to it from what I already have and we'll just have fun with it. If that sounds good. Join me. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start up Eagle here and we're going to make a new project. We're just going to call it Test Box. That sounds good. New project. This is going to be nothing amazing, nothing complex, but I find it necessary. All right. Let's add a switch to this since we're going to change what I have now to three pole double throw. And you'll notice that it gives you three switches. We're going to include an input and output jack. Input. Output. Let's give this a name. In. Out. We're also going to put an LED on this so that we can know that it's on or off. And we're going to have, we're going to need a resistor for that. We're going to need ground with a lug and we're going to need a ground without one. Okay, what am I forgetting? We're going to need we're going to need an input for the test probe. We're going to name that probe. What else do we need? We need a power supply jack for 9 volts in. That looks good for now. I think that's everything. Switch and a test probe. Yes, that's all I wanted to add. All right, let's save that. And we're ready to run our nets. I forgot to put a place for the terminals where we put the uh, alligator clips. So let's do that. Okay, we're going to use these supply pins with a label. We're gonna put a circuit input, circuit output. We're going to put a plus 9 volts and a ground. And we're going to replace this probe, I think, with one of these two. Yeah, let's do that. And we will trash this other probe. And we're going to name these. This is going to be probe. Seems like I deleted it. Let's hit the name button again. Probe. Output, output, 9 volt. Ground. So in, since we have this one labeled input and output, we're going to put, we're going to change these ones to tar and amp. Make it a little easier to figure out. All right. What we're going to do is wire this switch just like we would in a true bypass pedal. I'm going to reorganize this and connect the nets and I'll just fast forward through this and we'll explain it all later. You'll see this probe goes through a capacitor in case we touch it to anything with a DC uh, voltage and it goes straight to the amp. What that will do is if we touch a spot that is before this point here, 
that it will pass to the amp without going through the rest of the circuit from the input to the output here. We're going to rename this one as GND so that it's electrically connected to the ground. All right, let's not forget to connect this TAR input. It goes here. It connects to both C3 and B1. All right, now let's make our board. And I'm not going to bore you with all that. I already had this laid out. Um, and we're going to run, let's convert this to a polygon on the bottom. And we're going to call that polygon ground. Let's see, did it work? Yep. All right, let's load OSH Park Design Rules into that. Okay, that's good. And we're going to run our nets now. Let's do that. Nothing left to do. Okay. Let's run our checks on this. No errors or warnings. Design rules against the OSH Park design rules. No errors. And we just check with this. Nothing. All right. Let is, let's upload this. We'll save that to OSH Park. Finally, it shows up. Okay, the cost for this is $4.90. Can make some for a friend? Let's order this. Now, I'm gonna try this. Let's see what, I'm gonna try this one, the After Dark. Instead of purple, it's supposed to be black, I guess. Sounds interesting. All right, I'm gonna get this all ordered up and I'll get back to you when it comes in. Until then, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.